Hey everybody. So it's finally time for me to document my experience with a touch up. So I'm going tomorrow for, it's been about 14 months since my initial microblading experience. Um, as you can see, I don't have anything on my eyes right now. So you can kind of see there's some fading under here. Um, and a few little patches where it, the colors just really faded a lot. You can see this is my actual brow right here and that's where it's faded. So I'm looking forward to having them filled back in again. Um, but there was plenty, like just for a couple months, I've had to use a pencil to kind of fill things in a little bit and it's been fine, but I know that I need to be a little more strict with my aftercare treatment. I'm glad that this appointment is happening in the fall because I'll be less likely to have any little bit of perspiring as things heal. Um, from what I read, um, even the little, a little bit of perspiration can cause the color to bleed so that you don't get those fine little lines that stay, the, the dye kind of spreads. So I'm going to have my lesson learned this time and I'm going to be better about staying out of the sun and out of any heat while things are healing. And then I'm going to also be better about making sure I put, um, sunscreen over my brows as well, not just on my face. Um, so I'll touch base tomorrow before I go in for my appointment and then show you what the after looks like. And I'm looking forward to having everything filled back in and looking the way I'm used to again. It's going to be great. I'm a little nervous that it's going to sting a little bit, but I'll be brave. It will be worth it. So I'll check in in a little bit. All right. I'm heading in for my appointment. Here's my before. See you after. All right. I just finished my touch up appointment. She's so great. So they're shiny from the A&D, but wow. <laughs> I didn't realize how faded they had gone. These are some intense brows. All right, I will touch base tomorrow um, and we'll go through the same thing we did last time. Just the daily care. I'm gonna, this time I'm not gonna work out at all um, because I just, just for the first seven days, I just really, really want these beautiful little strokes to stay. So we'll see if I can do that. Thank you, Drea, you're amazing. I'm a little bit oozy right now, it's starting to drip. So I'm gonna go gently dab that off and stick some more A&D on. So we're on officially day one of healing. Last night went pretty well. I tried really hard to make sure that I slept on my back. And um, in the middle of the night when I got up, I put some more A&D on to make sure they were covered well. Um, everything feels really good. I love that I can still see those lines. Definitely not going to be working out or sweating this morning. Just letting them do their thing. <laughs> and um, looking forward to how this healing process goes. I am grateful for the a and I just feel like it makes everything so, so comfortable that I don't even really realize, you know, that I just had this done yesterday. So awesome. Here's two shiny, happy eyebrows. <laughs> Good morning. Normally I would be out hiking right now. I'm going to take a break from that this week. Make sure I don't get any sweat on these brows. Last night went well again. Just kept them covered with A and D. And instead of going for a hike, I'm just going to go sit down by the river and enjoy being out here in nature for a minute. So, day two. So far, so good. We are now on day three. I haven't even had to use the witch hazel yet. Just been using the A and D and trying really hard to stay out of the sun and out of heat. There had been one time where um, I had to run a quick errand and I was um, visiting with some people on their porch and I was just in in the sunlight for I don't know ten minutes and I could feel them just stinging and feeling kind of crackly. That's the only time they felt that way. Whereas when I initially had this done, 
um, that was a fairly common sensation as things were healing. So definitely cooler weather has made a big difference and um, they just they just feel really good and they haven't really gotten itchy or anything yet. So I'm waiting for that to happen, but I'm just really trying to keep that good coating of A&D on them and get over the fact that I'm just gonna have really bold, shiny eyebrows for a little bit <laughs> when I go anywhere any sports games for my sons or r running errands. I just, whatever, I just look like I have greasy eyebrows. It's okay, totally worth it. So it's going well. Um, I'm gonna go help set up a spook alley on my front lawn and try and stay in the shade. Wish me luck. Welcome to day four. So today was the day when things really started getting itchy and where things are kind of pulling away um, but the scabs are starting to clump up and you, it, when you look at it, it really doesn't look, it still looks pretty good, but I can just feel everything starting to separate and pull away. So the, um, witch hazel and the A and D are just, they're my best friends <laughs> today. Um, I'll be curious to see how things feel tomorrow, but Today was definitely the transition day where things are changing and the scabs are starting to come off. Um, I haven't really seen any clumps coming off yet, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. Here's how things are looking after the day of itchiness. So we're on day five. You can see where the scabs are just starting to pull away, clumping up a little bit. I'm just going to go gently, gently with the witch hazel kind of dab because I don't want to pull any of the scabs away too early and I don't want to be pulling any of the dye out prematurely. And so I'm just going to be very delicate today and then give a nice generous coat of the A&D afterwards. Um, thankfully the itchiness has gone down a ton now that everything's lifted. So this is where it's just a little clumpy. A little, a little sketchy looking on the fifth day, but it's all going to work out just fine. <laughs> now on day six, and yesterday just a lot of the scabbing pulled away, and so this morning when I got in the shower, I did let my eyebrows get wet, and I just gently wiped them with a microfiber cloth. I don't have any A and D on right now. There's a few tiny little areas where there's still a little bit of scabbing, but for the most part, this is how my brows are just gonna look now. And I'm really, really happy with the result. Um, you can tell if you look from yesterday to today, they're just not as dark as they were. And that's a good thing, because I really want them to look natural, and I feel like they really do. So thank you, Drea. I'm really, really happy with this result. I'm gonna take better care of them this time around to make sure I get sunscreen. Um, on them when I sunscreen my face um, and I'm still gonna keep a thin layer of a and D on I'll probably just put it on once a day well that's probably a lie I bet I will put it on still morning and night until we're 10 days in just to make sure that they're protected and um, that the rest of the healing can take place but I'm really happy with the result and it is so 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 nice to have eyebrows. <laughs> We're now officially a week in and this is going to be my final little check-in. I think this is going to be my end result. Um, they just feel really good. I haven't needed to put any A&D on so far yet today. I probably will tonight and for the next several evenings just to keep them safe just depending on how they feel. Um, if I wanted to, I could schedule a testicle appointment four to six weeks from now, but I'm really happy with the way that they look. They just look very natural. So one thing I did differently, aside from trying really hard not to get sweaty, as you could tell from the previous uh, six days, is that I also didn't take a shower for a day and a half after my appointment. Um, the instruction said to try to go 24 to 48 hours. And I think that that time of just leading everything along to heal really, really helped um, 
this just to be a really lovely smooth week of healing and I think that they ended up looking great so this will probably just be a yearly touch-up thing for me from here on out let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and if you're interested in seeing my next touch-up a year from now let me know all right everybody thanks for joining me